Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV. It's the channel whereby we are going to learn and uh, interact. We are going to have our mathematics form 4, lesson 13, uh, whereby uh, your tutor would be me, Mr. Gerald. We are, we are going to handle the topic on statistics 2 under the subtopic measures of central tendency. Uh, but before that, we are going to have the following lesson objectives, whereby by the end of this lesson, you should be able to calculate different measures of central tendency. Welcome. Uh, let us start with the measures of central tendency, whereby we are saying that there are normally three statistical measures of central tendency, which include the mean, median, and the mod. Actually, those are the three uh, measures of central tendency, which we shall deal or cover in our mathematics uh, lessons. We are going to have uh, to have a working or an assumed mean whereby uh, you're given a set of data which you require to calculate the mean. We have data A, B, and C. And as you can see from data A, uh, what you normally do, you just add up all the sum, then you divide by the number of quantities which are there. So in, um, in um, the case of A, we have got 35, 43, 45, 48, 48, 49, 52, 54, 62, and 64. When you add the total, uh, the total data here, you are going to get 500. Then you are going to divide uh, with the total number of quantities. And in our case, they are 10. So that is to mean uh, the mean for data A is 50. Uh, when you go to data B, you are going to get all the quantities. That is 47, 55, 57, 60, 60, 61. Uh, that is the total. So the total you are going to get 620, and you divide it with the total number of quantities, which are 10, to get the mean as 62. And as you can see, our mean for C is also, you are just adding the total quantities, then you divide uh, by the na total number of quantities, which are 10. In our case, our mean is 42. Um, data B is obtained from data A by adding to each of the numbers. Similarly, data C is obtained from data A by subtracting 8 from each of the numbers. Actually, data B is obtained from data A by adding 12 to each of the numbers. Uh, let us see if that one is true. Uh, as you can see, we, are go we have added from that the mean of data A, that is the mean of data A, we have added 12 to get the mean of data B, which is 62. And uh, to get the mean of data uh, data C, we have uh, subtracted uh, to get the mean of data C. If 12 is added to the mean of data A, we obtain the mean of data B. Let us consider that. We are saying that if 12 is added to the mean of data A, we are getting the mean of data B. That is 62. And also, um, similarly, if we subtract 8 from the mean of data A, we obtain the mean of data C. We are saying that if we subtract 8, that is from mean of data A, we are going to get the mean of data C, that is 42. Uh, in general, if a constant K is added or subtracted from each figure in a set of data, uh, the mean of the new data can be obtained from the mean of the old data by adding or subtracting the same constant. Uh, what we are saying is, uh, let us consider the, f uh, the means. Uh, to get the mean of data B, we have added 12 to the mean of data A. That is to me our constant A is 12. And to get the mean of data uh, C, we have subtracted 8 from the mean of data, s uh, data A. So that is to mean uh, we are having a certain constant. Uh, let us look at the following example, whereby you are required to calculate the mean of the following data. And the data, as you can see, is being uh, displayed on our screen. That is 495, 496. We have got 497 and uh, um, onwards until we uh, reach at uh, 507. To calculate the mean is very simple. So this data, you are going to arrange it in, um, you are going to draw a table, whereby you are going to have your x starting from your 495 up to the last uh, digit, that is 507. And you are going to have your t, whereby in this t, we are saying that it is x minus 500. This 500 we are seeing here is what we are revising now as assumed mean. We have assumed the mean of all these digits is, of, um, uh, actually our assumed mean, we have assumed it is 500. So that is why we are taking uh, x, we subtract 500. So here we have got some uh, negative values and we have got also some um, positive values. 
and at the end of our t we are going to get the summation of t whereby uh, when you shall add negative 5 negative 4 negative 3 negative 2 uh, onwards we are going to get uh, eventually uh, we are going to get uh, 20 so what you normally do uh, actually you get the mean of t that is summation of t you divide by total number of total number of um, quantities so the number of quantities we are going to add the ones that are uh, on the x side that so we are going to get the total number is 18 so you get your t you divide by that is the uh, summation of t that is 20 you divide by 18 to get 1.11 and now to get actually now the actual mean because our 500 was just an assumed mean you will take 500 you add your um the mean of t that you're going to get 500 you add 1.11 so that is to mean uh, our mean in that case is going to be uh, 501.11. So in general, what we are saying, uh, we are saying that actually we just get an assumed mean. So in our case, it was 500. Then uh, the reason why you should just get an assumed mean is to ease in your work. Because when you shall work with these uh, big figures, uh, the biggest might be too large. So that is why we just get uh, an, uh, an assumed mean, and in our case, 500. You just take a mean or a number or a figure that is close to the figures that are being given. Uh, having uh, said that, uh, you are going to have the following activity, whereby you are required to find the mean of the following numbers. Uh, as you can see, we have got our activity A, whereby the numbers is 560, 570, 580, 590, and 600. Um, so you're just going to follow the procedure that you have done, and you are going to uh, arrive at the correct answer. You have also an activity B, whereby you're also required to get the, the mean. Uh, to get more of this lesson, uh, you can uh, refer to KLB 2017, that is Secondary Mathematics Students Book 4, which is the fourth edition, Nairobi, and it has been certified by the Kenya Literature Bureau. And to get this mathematics lesson from 4 and many more of our mathematics lesson, you can send us an SMS through the number that is appearing on our screen or you subscribe to our YouTube channel which is the Limu TV or our Facebook page which is also a Limu TV or you tweet us at Limu TV um, underscore KA. Let us subscribe to all these channels and you shall enjoy more of our uh, mathematics lessons. Thank you.